Quite a match for the historians. Andy Nelson had just taken Gillingham up. Now he's in charge at Charlton. Dave Shipperley had gone in the other direction. Dick Tideman would be a Valley favourite in years to come. And, of course, Keith Peacock was a future Gillingham manager. Big blustery conditions here, but both sides are with managers who like to see a bit of attacking football. And Charlton with uh, eight goals from their three games they've played so far, certainly uh, showing that Andy Nelson means to keep it going. And here's Keith Peacock, high and forward there towards Derek Hales. But Graham Knight for Gillingham. Oh, and he lost that badly to Colin Powell. Here's a chance. No penalty given. Well, that was a very dangerous piece of play in the defence by uh, Gillingham, and it very nearly let Colin Powell, the former Barnet player, in and uh, looked suspiciously as though it might have been a penalty, but not given. And now Curtis. Warman again. Oh, a lot of space for him. And again, they are seeking out Peacock on that touchline. Crossed him with the right foot this time. Graham Knight getting it away for Gillingham. Warman's throw to Keith Peacock, chipped in once more. Powell is there reacting before anybody, but quite gently into the arms of uh, goalkeeper Hilliard. Wiltshire. Yeo jumping for that one, but out jumped by Horsfield. This will fall for Richardson. Jax is in a lot of space over on the left. It's with Coxhill now. Trying a shot of his own, and Dunn had to go down well to save that. Those of do that it was Yeo who was right in there, should there be anything coming his way. A good shot by David Coxhill. Down goes Dunn and uh, pushes it away. Free kick to Gillingham, though. Which Tideman will take. Accurate kicker of a ball. And hit there towards Galvin, and it went through about four Gillingham players there. Here's Richardson. Knight turning it in. Richie Bowman's there, though. Tideman again. Chipped in once more. Good piece of running here. Coxell's there! Oh, and it just went wide. Coxell and Jacks between them, completely confusing that Charlton defence with a really determined piece of running as that ball went floating into the Charlton penalty area. And Charlton were very lucky indeed to escape there. Hale's very active there, getting possession and finding uh, Bowman again. Found a yard very nicely for himself there. That was a good cross, and Warman went in very well indeed over the head of Peacock, in fact. Good run there by the number three, Phil Warman. O'Donnell will take the free kick. Charlton have got nearly everybody back. They've got ten men back, in fact. Shipley in there with a the header, and you! No, he's given offside. He's given offside. Yale, who snaps off on chances like that so quickly and so well, that time was just a little too quick. And the goal disallowed. Lovely header by Shipley. Yeo offside. Now Dick Tideman. Jacks again on the far side there, trying to get in and forcing Curtis once more to give away that corner. Good run again by George Jacks on the blind side of that Charlton defence. Gillingham always threatened to do something with these corners. If only they could place them properly with big men like Galvin and Shipley up there. Let's see what O'Donnell can do with this one. That's a good-looking corner once again, and Shipley again is in there with a the header. Damien Richardson almost got in with his, and Tideman couldn't get in with his shot. Played off now for Peacock, and this could be a dangerous break. A beautiful pass by Peacock. There for Powell, and Gillingham need to come back quickly. A little chip over his head, and he hit the crossbar. Peacock with the header! That's the goal! Keith Peacock has scored! A breakaway with three minutes left. From one end of the field to the other, deep in defence. But what a beautiful goal it was. As it came through, Powell made ground, and then that careful little chip, but it went against the crossbar. 
and Peacock was there with a torpedo-like header to put Charlton into the lead. 